Mr. President, dear members of the EPP family, dear hosts from the, our sister party, Kokomus. Europe is not just a geographical term. Europe means civilization. It was fought through millenniums of known history, shaped by bad and good times, flourishing, dying under the thirst of invaders and totalitarian concepts, emerging again from ashes of broken empires and ideologies. European nations have developed their own cultures and national identities. During the last millennium, however, this has happened within a framework of a common civilization. On the basis of Ten Commandments and Enlightenment, the fundamental values emerge as a core of our civilization. Freedom, justice, human dignity, rule of law among the most important. Those values were, however, not enough to prevent terrible clashes among the European, among the European nations, neither to prevent anti-human ideologies of national and international socialism to enslave many of the European nations for years or even the decades. To prevent the sad and sometimes cruel history from being repeated, the founding fathers, which were all Christian Democrats, created the European Union, Union of Values. Since then, more and more Europeans enjoyed peace and high or higher standards of living. This success story created a strong tool of soft power, which helped the military might of the free world to dismantle the red evil empire and to make European unification possible. Where there isn't and will never be one uniform European national culture, the European civilization has been existing for centuries. And history teaches us that every civilization is permanently challenged from the inside as well as outside, and that moments come when its very foundation is in danger and has to be defended. Dear friends, right now we live partially in such a moment. From the inside, European civilization is challenged by various forms of cultural Marxism, seeking to dismantle family, national and European identity, private property, private education, and religion. Being backed by those who see a future world as only one multinational company. Together, they advocate that we have to abandon a house built on the rock of our values and build a new one on the sand, probably in the desert where history ends. From the outside, we face a huge and increasing demographic pressure on aging Europe. Being, this being used also as a political weapon by radical Islam. The combination of both threats presents the most serious danger for European civilization since the collapse of the Soviet Union. And defending the basic foundations of the European civilization is the most crucial task for the European People's Party, a political force which actually established the Union. If the EPP will not defend it, somebody else will. And most probably, they will fail, because aside from the EPP, nobody in Europe is currently strong enough to lead this defense of our civilization, our way of life. There are also global and indeed regional challenges ahead, which are too big even for the largest European nations. And this is another reason for the existence, existence and defense of the Union. 
It is obvious that European nations have to fulfill the commitment to increase our responsibilities in NATO and that the European Union has to organize effective common European hard power, including non-NATO members, to be able to defend our external borders and to help stabilize our neighborhood. No development aid and no humanitarian projects are going to succeed until we are able first to protect those who we want to help. We are a big family, EPP, we are a big family of more than 50 parties, and we compromise, as we saw before when we voted on the resolutions on many issues. But defending the very foundation of our civilization is an urgent and a noble goal where we have to be really united. Being People's Party, our duty is to fight for Europe whole, strong, and free, and provide Europeans with security, opportunity, and foreseeable future. If voters across the continent will see and feel our unity and determination, the next European elections will be a significant victory for the European People's Party. Thank you very much.